Have you ever had one of those days where you were just totally fed up with your television or your computer, and you decided to take that bumper sticker seriously when it says, shoot your television? For the sake of this experiment, we're going to take the cover off so we can see it explode when we shoot it. We've also done it outside. You wouldn't want to do this in your living room unless you were really off at your television set because it's going to make a mess. This is your basic 19-inch monitor. It suffered badly in a recent lightning strike, so it's a perfect victim for our shooting today. So let's talk about some basic safety measures we've taken here. First of all, we are going to shoot this monitor with a 22 caliber rifle, but we are out in the middle of rural nowhere where it's illegal to shoot a 22 caliber rifle. We have a nice earth berm behind us, so the bullet's not going to go anywhere. We're going to be well away from the monitor when we shoot it, so any flying glass isn't going to endanger our persons. I have safety glasses on so that my eyes are protected. So we are taking basic precautions when we do this experiment. One of the cool things about shooting this is that we're going to get to actually see inside a CRT monitor. So I do want to point out how precise that first shot was. Did you notice that it was right in the center of the screen? That's not bad from like 30 yards away. So here you've got the, the now um, somewhat damaged CRT that we started with. One thing to notice is that the glass is incredibly thick. It's like a centimeter or half an inch or something. It's, it's a very big, thick piece of glass, and that's why... It's, um, it's not bad when you pound on your monitor. It, you know, it's designed to be very strong. This is the phosphor that's actually coated on the back of the viewing screen. The electron beam hits that phosphor and causes it to light up. Each pixel is made up of three individual dots of phosphor, one red, one green, and one blue, that's been coated onto the glass. When you get inside, it doesn't actually have a shadow mask. It has all these strands of wire, which are the, the trademark of the Trinitron design. That was originally created by uh, Sony and patented. Now let's go find the electron gun. So, this is called the steering yoke. It is a a cone-shaped coil of wires that steers the electron beam across the front of the monitor screen. And then behind that is the electron gun, which has, which has actually fared pretty well. So let me chisel away at this a bit and see if we can get at it. And here's the electron gun. There, one of the keys of modern communication is <laughs> able to produce three electron beams all in a nice small package, and those shoot forward through the steering coils, through the shadow mask, and make the three colors, R, G, and B, on the monitor screen. So that's what would happen if you shot your television set or your computer monitor. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works.